<laughs> hey everybody, Joy here. Joy with my totally decaf coffee. Mm-hmm. My cardiologist had a fit. He wasn't in a very good mood. His PA had quit or left or done something. <laughs> and uh, he was way behind. I had to wait almost an hour for him. He was in kind of a bad mood. But I told him, I said, my heart's been racing at night. And he said, I told you to quit caffeine. I'm like, ah, I, you didn't say to quit it. You said to cut back on caffeine. So anyway, I've had Jerry change from two to two, which is two scoops of calf and two scoops of decaf in my percolator. I've had him change to three decafs and one calf. But this is completely decaf, so I don't know. He's probably going to tell me I'm not allowed to look at coffee, buy coffee, see coffee, smell coffee, or anything. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's the only thing I drink, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do. My dad used to drink something called um, Postum. I don't even know if they still make it. But I don't know. I think it's made out of, like, bark of a tree or roots of a plant or something. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Anyway, I say what day this is. This is the day the Lord has made, and it is Sunday, October 29, 2017. For the sermon this morning, it's a little heavy, very, very true, about how crazy the world is, and how people have turned against God, and how there's going to be a nuclear war, and oh my gosh, so many things, so scary. But, God is in control. And um, that's who we serve. So we just have to trust in him. Hagee hey, said, Christians are going to be out of here before all that happens. So I sure hope he knows what he's talking about on that issue. Anyway, guess what? It's like you really have to guess hard. Oh, she's probably making something and wants to show it to us. <laughs> this is going to be a lesson on how not to do something, okay? I have a lot of those. Have you noticed? Okay, girl that hates to watch me drink my coffee, I'm putting it down. There are some YouTube videos. Of course, you know I have my new baby coming, and his name is Luke. And he's coming any moment, any day. She is full term. And so I have my new baby, Luke, coming. And I already took that stuff that I made up there, and I gave it to his mom and dad. If you watched my last video, you saw all that. Well, I came back home to Kingston, and I wanted to make him some more stuff. <laughs> I'm not getting at the baby, so I guess I'll just keep making him stuff. So, um, this is called Self-Binding Receiving Blanket. And if you go to YouTube and you type in up there in the search, Self-Binding Receiving Blanket, you'll find three or four videos on how to do it. There's one from Missouri Quilt Company. There's one from, I think it's called Shabby Fabrics. And there's one from another quilt company, and though they're different, they're all just a tad different. But the one, and it's from the other quilt company, um, is it called Back Quarters? I don't know, y'all. I, if I don't have it in front of me, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, it's a blonde girl, and she has on this shirt that has this quilt pattern on the front of it. And she is the most meticulous about it. Well, I decided that Jenny at Missouri Quilt Company was meticulous enough for me, so I did it her way. So her way, I had one turn out perfect, and I had one turn out not perfect at all, compare, and it is um, exactly what the particular girl said would happen. It turns out, you guys, that flannel, and these are flannel, front's flannel, back's flannel. Flannel has quite a bit of stretch on the crosswise grain. And you can fiddle with it forever, and it just keeps growing and growing. I pre-washed it in hot water and a hot dryer. However, it wasn't here because my washer's been down for over a month now. And Choice Home Warranty, remember that name because you for sure don't ever want to buy a Choice Home Warranty. Um, Choice Home Warranty still has not found anybody to come fix it. And everybody they find either cancels or doesn't show up. <sighs> so anyway... A guy that I found myself who's a hundred miles away in Paris, Texas, he tells me he's old. He told me he had ordered a part. I called him up. He said, oh, I forgot to order the part. He told me he doesn't have, he can't hire help and all the help quits and they're all on drugs. But anyway, he ordered the part and 
maybe the beginning of this week he can come fix my washer so oh i don't know mother keeps saying let's pray let's pray let's pray i said god's gonna have to send an angel down here to fix this washing machine anyway self-binding receiving blankets the first one i made turned out really really good i don't know why this one turned out really good and the other one didn't i'm gonna hold it still so you can see how cute it is Remember the baby's room is blue and gray. Ah, let me get these extra threads off of here. And I tried something I've never tried. You know how you have all those decorative stitches on your new sewing machine, right? I never use them. So I decided to use them. And so since the baby's room is navy blue and gray, I decided to use navy blue thread. And so in the ditch, you go and you stitch all around. And you see it? And I used that blanket. Well, duh, this is a blanket. <laughs> Earth the joy it just dawned on me. <laughs> anyway, but look how cute it is on the back. My new sewing machine. It really does a nice stitch. It's got that even feed foot, you know. And so, it's really cute. So this one is really good. And when I say really good, you want to know what's wrong with the other one, you'll soon see. This part here if you don't measure exactly 30 inch square on the little piece and 40 inch square on the big piece if it's not exactly i mean if it's 30 and a half or 29 and three quarters or 39 instead of 40 these are not going to come out the same width all the way around you can see on this one that the binding part is the same all the way around well, the next one, I have ironed it, and I have pulled it, and I have stretched it, and I've done everything. And I cannot get these borders to come out right. Now, I know Luke isn't going to care, right? <laughs> but this one is not perfect. This border and this border, if you'll look at them. See how one is quite a bit narrower than the other one? They should be exactly the same. Over here, they're a little bit closer together. And here. And I'll show you the stitch I did on this one. This is a little bit different stitch, and I used the green thread. Oh, it was fun to do, too. It's, uh, I, I tried to get it to blend so it doesn't show up a whole bunch. But you can see. Isn't it cute? It's kind of like the zigzag pattern. Hey, hello. <laughs> I just realized that, too. So anyway, this receiving blanket has a bunch of extra fullness on the red part because obviously the red part was not cut. I thought it was and I tried to cut it exactly right, but I never did open it up and measure the whole way across with a measuring tape and measure, you know, the middle, the end, the other end. And so it came out too full on the red part. But anyway, baby Luke is not going to care. And I doubt anybody else will even notice it if I don't point it out. But you know I always point it out. <laughs> why do we do that? <laughs> you know why we do it? I don't want them to look at it and see, well, good grief, why didn't Grandma notice this? I want them to know, yeah, it's a mistake, and yeah, I noticed it. So, <laughs> I guess that's why. <laughs> Anyhow, soft, cuddly. <coughs> Excuse me, I talked to Lauren yesterday because she just happened to call me and was texting me so I showed her this and um, she said grandma I don't even know what a receiving blanket is <laughs> so you know the internet you can find anything in the world on the internet so I texted how to use a receiving blanket and sure enough I don't know how many videos there are on showing how to swaddle a baby in a blanket so anyway that's my latest Mom's downstairs getting through with her shower, and I need to run down and check on her and make sure that she didn't squirt the ceiling with the water again. <laughs> and it's dripping down all over the floor. <laughs> so, y'all have a fabulous weekend, and I'll be back soon, probably with pictures of my new baby Luke. <laughs> Bye.